Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this refreshing passion fruit granita with a little Asian inspiration. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to get going is the granita base. So in a mixing bowl, you're going to add in some passion fruit puree, juice or fresh pulp, really whatever you can find at your local grocery store. Um, after that, you're going to add in some yuzu juice and finally a little sugar. After that, you're just going to put it into the freezer for about three to four hours. Uh, but if you're in a bit of a hurry, you can use a metal container and it will shave off some of that freezing time. So while the granita is setting up in the freezer, I'm going to make a very simple garnish. Just by thinly slicing a lemon, I'm going to lay those slices out onto a sheet tray dust them with just a little bit of cayenne pepper and chili powder and then I'm going to finish them off with a sprinkle of sugar and then off to a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes. Once the lemons are finished baking, take them out of the oven and let them cool down for at least five to seven minutes before handling. And then after that, just carefully remove the spicy candied lemons from the tray and transfer them to a plate and set aside until you're ready to garnish. So now that the passion fruit granita base is frozen solid, take it out of the freezer and essentially you're just going to begin to scrape at it with a fork or some sort of metal object until you have a few cups of what now is passion fruit granita. Okay, so to finish the dish, you can really go in so many different directions. Uh, but here I'm going to generously fill up a frozen glass with the passion fruit granita, add a splash of this delicious uguno suke sake, and finally one of the slices of spicy candied lemon. And that's it folks, this is one refreshing and very sophisticated dessert. This is one of those things that you just don't stop eating until you get a brain freeze. Oh, so good. Just very refreshing. I don't, there's like, that's the only way to put it. Super refreshing. You could have this as like a mid course, like in between eating, uh, you know, your salad or your main course or, you know, in between appetizers. This is very, very refreshing. Cleans the palate. Just slightly sweet, little tangy. You get a little pop of that yuzu, kind of lightens up the whole passion fruit flavor and uh, just really, really good. It's very refreshing, best way I can put it. If you guys haven't noticed, this has a little bit of that Japanese flair to it, obviously with the sake at the end. And the reason being is that I'm going to Japan for the first time in my life, super excited. I'm partnering up with All in the Pond Airways. They're flying me and my family out to Japan to really just experience Japanese culture. We're going to Tokyo and Hiroshima. And actually through that experience, uh, I'm actually going to have a few sit downs with some of the partners that they've collaborated with their in-flight menu, which is kind of crazy. I've never really been excited to um, eat on an airplane. And this is probably the first time they basically partner up and collaborate um, with local chefs in and around Japan just to really elevate their in-flight dining experience. Um, the sake that I use, the Ugono Suke Sake, that's actually on their in-flight menu as well. And it's really cool when a company like ANA partners up with restaurateurs or chefs uh, or just, you know, hospitality gurus to make their flights just really more hospitable to their clientele. And, uh, you know, I love cooking for people. I love being hospitable. So, 
you know, when I see another brand or a company doing that, it's just automatically a connection. So uh, I'm really excited to embark on this journey and I'm taking you guys with me. I'm gonna be filming the whole experience and it's just gonna be really cool. I have no idea what to expect and yeah, I'm just super open with it. I've been wanting to go to Japan, honestly, ever since I became a chef or knew I wanted to become a chef just because that's, you know, other than Paris, that's really the culinary epicenter in the world. That's just an amazing place to experience food from what I hear. So I'm absolutely stoked. Also, I wanna make mention that they're giving away two tickets to one of you guys. So make sure you head on over to the All in the Pond Airways link that I have in my description box. Enter the giveaway and you could find yourself someplace in Asia that you've always dreamed of visiting in the near future. And that's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe at the end of this video and I will see you next time with another recipe. Later. Mm -hmm.